this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine mm-hmm. everywhere i go i'm gonna let it shine welcome to the portraits and leadership series we will explore the rich history of the african-american entrepreneur in staten island for a long time Members of the African American community in Staten Island have been pioneers of the entrepreneurial spirit. The oyster business, trades such as chimney sweeps and blacksmiths, and later on businesses that provided services that were denied African Americans owned by their white counterparts, such as moving and burial services, are all examples of the positive, forward moving, and successful history. Early members of the African American community in Staten Island built beautiful homes, churches, schools, and other institutions. This entrepreneurial spirit has been in existence since 1640. We will now meet some of the gifted living pioneers of this tradition in Staten Island. The Reverend Dr. Demetrius Carolina is widely recognized as a spiritual leader. He maintains a respected reputation as a man of conviction, one who consistently demonstrates hands-on leadership and a commitment to his congregation. He also has a great concern for issues related to spiritual empowerment, economic equity, educational development, and human rights. What do we want? Peace. When do we want it? What do we want? Please. When do we want it? Now. Thank you, thank you. Staten Island, although it is a borough in New York City, it is also an island of communities. And it's great to be a part of such a diverse uh, island of communities. Latinos, African Americans, Caucasians, Asians. What a wonderful mosaic of various cultures in Staten Island. And the same is true of the businesses on Staten Island. We have a wonderful entrepreneurial spirit on Staten Island in our restaurants, in our various cultural uh, facilities and businesses and museums and wonderful artwork that is exhibited throughout the borough. And certainly the future of Staten Island looks bright because the more we look into our past, we can certainly see a bright future. Our children are a viable part of our future as well and that we provide so many services for our children. And of course, more services are always needed as cultural issues and situations uh, change. Even amongst this present economic constraints, we are excited that people are collaborating and growing together in Staten Island. What a wonderful place to be. And the more that we grow together, the more that our children benefit from both, both the past, the present, while looking toward the future, Staten Island grows old and young. So I'm excited to be a part of this phenomenal cultural uh, explosion called Staten Island. And certainly I believe that the best is yet to come. So Staten Island, look out. Kevin Buford is known to all and loved by his community. He has a unique brand of entrepreneurial spirit that has caught the attention of all those who ride the ferry or attend community events. He lends his special spirit to all those that will open their hearts and listen to his historically based poetry. In 1983, I was unemployed and annoyed, and I had to do something to fill the void. So I got smart and bought a shopping cart, as, as they say, the rest is history. That little shopping cart became the little shopping mall on the Staten Island Ferry. For over 21 years, I walked up and down the aisles, making rhymes, selling merchandise to people. Um, and you want to know, it became more than just a business. Um, to go back to 1983, I was selling the merchandise and being hassled by the police for selling the merchandise. So I went out and I got the support of the public by obtaining a, a petition 
of 5,000 people that said they wanted to have me to work on the boat. At the same time, I got involved with George Hart, the late George Hart, who was running for borough president that year. He didn't win the election, but I begin to understand that people mean votes and votes mean power. I also um, wrote a poem to help our young people. It's called Black Innovations That Built This Nation, and that poem highlights 100 inventions that black people have contributed to this great nation. I went to schools and I went to, to churches and to even to, to lockups to, to recite this poem, to let young black people know that you come from greatness, that you can invent things, that your mind is, is fantastic. You know, you're not just limited to athletics and, and, and music, that you can be a scientist, you can be a doctor, you can be whatever you want to be. And let it be told, the black man invented the commode, the traffic signal for the road, and the ice cream mode the fruit press, the printing press. Without blacks, this nation would be in a mess. The medicine tray, the electric railway, reparations, you know they should pay. Horse saddles, rockets for battle, apparatus for roping cattle, the disposable needle, a discharge for torpedoes, the insect gun to kill the mosquito, the record player arm to hear the beetles, the player piano, the remote control to change the channel, the video commander, nothing could be grander, ear clips, potato chips, airships for scenic trips, the lemon squeezer, oh what a pleaser, sugar refinement, not an easy assignment, bottle caps, jock straps, so the athlete can make his laps, the sweep before the street, the brush and comb to look neat, the folding chair, the auto transmission for changing gear, the wrench, the typewriter, invented by blacks to make the workload lighter, blood plasma, and rods for the curtain. Without these inventions, it's certain we'd be hurting. The baby buggy, the air conditioner when it's muggy, the gas burner, and stainless steel pads, invented by blacks. Aren't you glad? The bicycle frame, the golf tee to enhance the game, window clean Cleaner, the sprinkler to make the lawn greener, the clothes dresser, the folding bed, invented by blacks. You heard what I said. The iron board, the scooter board, the stand for the keyboard. Black inventions are very broad. The helicopter for flight, and military might, the fire escape ladder, the urinalysis machine for the bladder, the digital toaster, the roller coaster, the guided missile, a holder for toilet tissue, a fountain pen to write an epistle, a planter for corn, the best thing since the horn, the furniture caster, the cell phone to communicate faster, the radiation detector, the doorknob and lock as a property protector, the mask for the gas, the mower for the grass, a sharpener for your pencil, a pastry fork with a utensil, the horseshoe, the human shoe. Without blacks, what would we do? The bridle bit to keep the horse on course, the children of Africa. Oh, what a resource. Black innovations that built this nation. There should be a copy of that poem up in every school in America because our children have great minds also. Ruby Daly is a longtime Staten Island resident. She truly embodies the entrepreneurial spirit. She represents our grandmothers and our grandfathers who strive for a better life. Ruby worked her way north, doing any number of odd jobs, including picking cotton. She keeps the faith as she continues on through it all. The soul of all this can be heard in her song. Hallelujah, since I lay my burden down. Glory, glory. Hallelujah, since I lay my burden down. Burden down, Lord, burden down. Since I lay my burden down. Burden down, Lord, burden down. Since I lay my Put him down. I can walk in talk with Jesus since I lay my burden down. I can walk in talk with Jesus since I lay my burden down. I'm going home to bear with Jesus since I lay my burden down. I'm going home to bear with Jesus since I lay my Word I'm down. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me, Lord. Since I lay my word I'm down. Walk, walk with me, Lord. Walk with me, Lord. Since I lay my word I'm down.
this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All over the world, I'm gonna let it shine. All over the world, I'm gonna let it shine. All over the world, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.